Greetings! I would like to talk about a particular game in the Bullfrog series. This is Fusion. This is the first game developed by Bullfrog in 1988. The people behind the game are Peter Molyneux, Glenn Corpus, and David Hanlon. Wikipedia, however, mentions Peter Molyneux managing the graphics and animations of the project, whilst Glenn Corpse did the programming and design, with David Hanlon on the music. But other sources suggest the uh, Moby Games actually shows no credit towards Peter Molyneux in the making of this game. Glenn Corpse, however, implemented the graphics whilst the programming was done by someone called David Donkin. The publisher was EA Games and this game was developed before Bullfrog Productions made a name for themselves with their own genre of game. Fusion was released on two platforms being Atari ST and Amiga and according to Moby Games the critic reviews vary from lowest 71 and highest 90 for Atari ST. The Amiga shows a very different range with lowest 45 and highest 82 so it makes you think about how well did the critics receive this game. Apparently the story is about a pilot called Captain Gerg Blood who pilots a Trang class fighter also known as the Flayer and he gets an emergency message from a random person or organization saying the galaxy is under threat and only you in your very very small Trang fighter can save us. As you can see not much is explained in terms of plot however it seems like a typical save the world even with these difficult odds. Basically you're controlling two kinds of vehicles the first being the mothership and the second the assault crawler. The difference is being with the mothership you can fly about freely and in a quite haphazard way you have a slight delay as you drift when you release the movement key. The advantages to flying a mothership is being equipped with stronger firepower and being able to access different gates in other levels of the game. The assault crawler, however, is literally, as it says, a crawler. It goes slowly, and you have an equivalent to a pea shooter as your main defense. I would say you're at your most vulnerable stage when you're maneuvering about in this vehicle. Not only you're limited with speed and firepower, you're bound to the ground obstacles, meaning that you need to take detours and go on endless and mostly pointless paths to reach a destination to which only your assault crawler can access. When I say you're controlling two vehicles I mean they're mutually exclusive. The assault crawler has to board the mothership to navigate and you must disembark the mothership if you wish to make any progress in the game. The objective of the game is to collect various pieces of a bomb and put them in a prearranged location. Getting their pieces is extremely difficult. You have a number of game mechanics that cause you to struggle most of the time. Number one, switches to locked gates are opened with keys and the keys are scattered across the level and only a certain kind of key opens a certain kind of door. In addition to this you may need a combination of keys them being green and yellow. To add the icing on the cake you can only hold one kind of colored shaped key at a time so it requires you to plan carefully and remember all the locations of the keys and which order to use them. Number two, oh yes I haven't finished. You also have a myriad of enemies flying about with endless numbers of enemies spawning at a rapid pace and your only way of ridding them is to destroy their spawn points being their bases. If you were to do that it would take you forever at the rate of enemies flying at you. Such enemies are 
The Rotating Plasmospheres. They aren't too bothersome unless you're on your crawler. At least they're bound to the ground level with the obstacles, giving you a chance to go about your business. Next, the homing missiles. They're like orbiting planets that surround you and slowly close in as you hopelessly watch your own death. The nitro mice. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting them yet. Maybe they're not easily noticeable or the developers were saving the best for last, but they supposedly move rapidly across the grid. The UHOs. They are the Spartans of the game. Not only will they chase you about, but they also shoot bullets at you. That It's like having a homing missile with guns. The experience is very much unpleasant. You'd best steer clear from these little rascals. Finally, we have the ergonomic eruptors. They're essentially turrets that continuously spawn and shoot at you. They pop up from place to place and a bit like the rack moles in the arcades. They appear and disappear and constantly shoot you up your ass. Other features include a save option. You need to fly over the icon with the traditional floppy disk in your mothership to save. You can also upgrade your mothership's firepower by collecting a certain power up in the level. It's got a special icon as well. It's surprisingly useful once you get it, but it won't necessarily save you from all the barrage the enemy has to offer. One other power up restores your health, but I personally don't find it useful, because by the time I get my hands on it, I've already got one foot in the grave. To sum up, this is Bullfrog's first game, and I wouldn't hold it against them as they were getting into the game industry and one needs to prove in time. Despite the difficulty in the gameplay, the idea behind the game mechanics isn't too bad. It is a challenge and it creatively gets you planning and strategizing your routes and keeps you on your toes. You like a challenge, then this game would be for you tenfold. If EA Games ever decide to use this IP again, I would suggest that they try a new twist to the game. Take for example Syndicate. They've changed it into a first person shooter and the results aren't too bad. They could with Fusion make it into a space flight simulator. Take elements from FTL, uh, meaning faster than light, and put a nice management simulation into it. Such as dealing with new alien crew or continuing on the story after blowing up the bomb in the original game. Mm -hmm.